This European Cricket Network event is proudly brought to you by HCL Software and Paramatch. And this one is up and away into the onside. Bit of work for Kaim Khan, who comes back into the squad, but he can't quite get there. And it's going to be the first boundary, as this is Yasir Mohammed. Yeah, we uh, pretty soon. Uh, that's a lovely shot, by the way. Let's talk about this first, though, from Yasir. So later on tonight, kebab. Ooh. Oh, well, this has been kebab. <laughs> that's out of here. That's a biggie. And this time it's up and over, and that is going to be another boundary. So again, Yasir being the two aggressive, uh, the aggressor of the two. And never mind, that's going to be one bounce, four runs, and on the fifth he does pick up a boundary. Wow, that is hit so hard, isn't it, John? And short, and this one has come off of. Well, it'll be interesting what this comes. Always comes off the bat potentially. It's going to be another boundary retired. I mean, that is just. Incredible as well. This one is a nice little tickle down the onside. So another boundary back to back now. Third four of the over. Of the summer. Thumped. And this is going to be all the way. There you go. First Maximo of the game. It's taken a couple of overs, but we got there in the end. And it's off the pad of Yasin Mohammed. Uh, it's been, this is a great shot. Beautifully. Look at the wrist work <gasps> on that. And that is hit flat and hard for six. Launched. And the entire result is just the same. That's even bigger than some of the ones we've already seen. Uh, I, t I suppose that's the thing here. So keep Nasmus thinks, right, I'm on to bowl. I'm going to toss the first one up. Going well, going nicely, but it's all about Yasir Mohammed at the moment, who has gone again, but hasn't quite found the middle of the bat, but he's still going to get four. Well, we'll maybe find out more about that later. Well, this is in the air. Field are underneath. It could be a big moment. It will be a big moment as Ifan Hussein takes the catch. And Yasir Mohammed will not get to his 50. He'll go for 46 of 26 deliveries. Going for the big shot, but he finds the fielder on the boundary. In front, takes the catch. Yeah, that's going to be an excellent uh, excellent catch once again. And uh, he had all the idea to make sure and work out where that, look, he just checks where that, that rope is. And that's a big wicket to get as the in batter will go short of a half century for 46. And you're right, Rico, 55 for one. Follows him. Uh, <laughs> that's going to go a long old way. Uh, this, what's this going to be? It's going to be given as runs, but I don't know if there's much bad on this. Uh, if there is, it's very little. Um, he does follow him, and somehow, yeah, he does. Actually, he gets a fair bit of bad on today. <laughs> oh, this is thumped, and this is going to be six runs. That's a really nice shot. Didn't quite come out of the middle of that. It sounded quite toey, but he muscles it more than anything. Yeah, what he does here, I mean, this is what John could take a leaf out of. He takes a big step outside the off stump and then absolutely mullers it. They're going once more, and this one is up in the air. Should be gone. Mamit has to just reevaluate, resets, and takes the catch. So, again, another day, disappointing time of it with the bat for Alam. Doesn't get going. Yeah, you can see that he's under pressure, though, isn't he, to try and get the big shots in because he's got. So John, who's not able to do it at 14 from 14, so he's trying to get the acceleration in. But this time, well, it's the other way around. Irfan took a good catch of Coley, and now they, uh, well, they ex sort of exchange. Say, right, my turn now. This time it's Mamit Coley who takes the catch, and the bowler is Irfan, who continues to impress. That's Irfan Hussein. Oh, well, goes for the Yorker again, but doesn't get it. And that is moosed into the onside. Six runs from Hyder Ali. Finally, a bit of breathing room. Oh, that is such a good shot. That is seriously good. And that is a great battle to start off the over. It was full. It was almost a Yorker, but he's so deep in his crease that he ends up just paddling it full the way. That is unbelievable. Six runs. This is your Perry match sot of the day. What a shot this is. That is so good. Oh, look at that. Oh, it's unbelievable. And goes for it, gets it. It's another boundary. They're not plugging the gap there. We've seen loads of runs there over the last 24 hours, and they're not learning their lesson. Coley needs to bowl on the offside, though. Really bowl 
and defend that sort of total against this batting. That's a nice shot, though, once more. He is so good, Rico, isn't he? That's another boundary. I don't know if the Eagles have got the bowling. This is up in the air, and, well, Safi's there, probably the last person you want there. He's the shortest one on the field. And, again, Haider Ali just plays a beautiful shot off the pads. It is prime batting. It's tape ball cricket. And, again, gets it up in the air, and it's going to go once more. So two sixes to start the last. They do get up to 100, and they do get... And that's uh, whipped away, but we'll just... Oh, no, they'll have to come back for two. It's a misfield. It might even go... It's gone for four. It has gone for four. Can't believe this. What an error that is. And he is going to get the six to finish it. He will get to 115. It's buffet bowling in the last couple of overs. It's not good enough. And they finish with 115 for two. So they do give the bowlers something to bowl at. Yeah, another huge six there from... Hey, Rally, a man that we've seen score plenty of runs at the top of the order. Bat can do the same with the ball. Oh, Charlie, you are a star. Well, this one is a bit of a star shot as well for Irfan Hazana. That's right up there in the tower. As Jan is going to start with a boundary against his name. And, well, at the moment, if you continue at this rate, it's going to be a pretty, a relatively easy chase. But, of course, they need to find some consistency. Hussain, though, once again, looking good at the top. Yeah, I actually picked this up, by the way, as this is, well, I talk about being picked up. This is up in the air. Could be a chance here. Should be. Relatively simple catch and is. Well, there you go. Tricky Ricky has got the catch. What a good grab that is. Hussain goes for 11. Jan, second ball. What a comeback after going for four. Takes the wicket and now well, could, is there signs of trouble ahead? Turmoil, potentially. Well, the thing is, though, I mean, yeah, I can understand what you're saying. It's a big match. It is a, a, a knockout knockout match. If you lose, you're out of it. But they've been here before, haven't they, the Gladiators? And then who comes out? Amir Hamza. And next thing you know, they're winning the match. So he's, uh, he didn't perform in the last match. So the chances are this time around he will. <laughs> happens. I know my limits. Well, Moisey gets off the mark. Helps it on its way, and it's a seriously glorious six. Got to get something going, and just helps it on its way, and that's a nice bit of sigh of relief, bit of pressure being released with that one. Nice shot. We've talked a lot about him, but you haven't actually seen him. Well, now he's gone. He's he, gone. Oh, no, he plays that shot. Just when I said, why does he not play that shot more often like the ball before? He's gone for that little hoik. He gets a little sneak. Moyes has gone. It's another big wicket. Taimor Chima adds one more to his tally. And now, just like that, the Gladiators, they're 29 for two. Oh, dear, oh, dear. Another disappointing inside edge. Little feather through to the keeper, and he's given his marching orders. And Chima picks up another. He's just got a nick of picking up the good wickets that they look for. Moisey, gone. And that's what he does, and he does so very nicely. That's actually a really nice shot. Full toss. Not quite far away from being a very good delivery, but that's the margin of error. It's so small. Lovely shot. Four runs. Across him and takes it on and gets it. Well, there you go. That's going to be a release of pressure there. The valve just loosening as Hamza gets this one away. And he's going to get six this time around. That is launched by Hamza. Such a good hitter of the ball in that area. Even with the wind coming against it, it clears the rope by some distance. Get us the wicket of Hamza. Goes for it. And this is launched. And it's going to be six runs. Oh, is this an edge? Maybe. He's walking. Is he walking? Yes, he is. He was started to walk, then stopped. And then uh, Andrew Beg went, OK, well, if you've started, you can keep on going. And that's going to be the end of Khan. But that might be a blessing in disguise, really, for the Gladiators. I don't know why he was put up uh, in at four, to be honest. They've got better options. Nevertheless, he goes now. And the score, 58 for three. Yeah, Hayda gets the wicket. It's not the one they wanted. I think there is a little tickle on this. I think the batter knows it as well because, you look, he puts his bat under his arm, he's ready to walk, and then he starts looking at the umpire. Then Andrew Begg says, well, he started walking, just keep going. But I think that could be a mistake because I think the next batter who come in can give a little bit more support and also a more confidence. 
As this is going to be lofted over, and this is going to go all the way. What a start that is for Wakas. Gives it a whack as Haider Ali getting a bit of his own treatment here. Last ball of a big seventh over. It's only gone for a couple of singles. Oh, and he gets this up in the air. Pavel takes a very simple catch. And it will be the end of Hamza as well. Jan, the frustrations were getting a little bit too much for him. But he picks up the big, big wicket of Amir Hamza, who was just starting to get frustrated. And at the end of the seventh, it's a big wicket gone. 69 for four. Yeah, well, the frustration, that's what I was saying. Don't get frustrated. He's doing a brilliant job. He was frustrating the batters. They couldn't get it away. And then you can see here that Hamza going for the old special shot, getting it wrong. He wanted to have a little bit of showtime. But it's Pavel who plays a little bit of the sexy cricket. He takes the catch. It's high fives all around. And I love the way they're all saying, well, Pavel, Come here, with your people on it, and I'm going to pick you up. They're all picking up, Pavel. It's a big moment. It's a big wicket. Waka's arm is still there. And now, Mamit Cody, the captain, does come in. Here we go, then. Big eight over. Big eighth over. Oh, Noe. dear. It's Noe. a Noe, and this has been slapped. Bit of work to do. He's not going to get there. And he will. This is going to be another six runs. It's gone all the way. Oh, that is a big, big start to this over. It's essentially 11 off the first. And oh dear, oh dear, are the wheels starting to fall off for the Eagles? How quickly things can change. The Eagles, they had to fight and they had to... Not really in terms of, the, uh, of that personal innings because this is what we're seeing here. Chance, maybe. Good luck. Oh, it just gets over him. Oh, it's a little teaser from Ahmed, but he gets it and gets just enough. And it's a per precise bit of hitting this. Completely different game. It was 47 off 18, now 30 off 15. Well, make that potentially could be a wicket here. Oh, no, someone's got to talk to each other, and they do. Eventually, it gets taken, and it's Sojan who does get the catch. And oh, dear, oh, dear. It's ebbing and flowing. This is fantastic cricket from John. Let me tell you, I was watching this developing to my right. It goes high up in the air. I knew it's not going over the rope. John has run all the way over and he's literally said to the fielder, get out of the way. I'm taking this catch. It's not his catch, but he says, get out of the way. I want it. And Chima in the end respects it. That is huge. Well, you said it. Catches win matches. Could that be the one that puts the gladiators out and the Eagles into the final? Short into the onside and well, they build up pressure and then they just turn around and go, oh, there you go, have it back. Still neck and neck really. Goes for it, hasn't got all of it, should be gone here. Relatively simple catch and it's taken. It's the skipper who absolutely makes no mistake. It's a golden duck for Man Meet Coley. He played a great innings in the first game of the day, but he can't quite repeat it here. He goes for a golden duck. And it's six down now. They still need 24. Pressure, pressure, pressure. Sometimes it calls to smart cricket. Mamit Kohli did not have to play this big shot. He could have tried to guide this ball away, but he goes for the big one. Skies it in the air. The catch is taken. Mamit Kohli will go for a golden. He's going to get quacked off by Derek. Another one goes as the young teen sensation, Luca Petro, goes out there. Oh, well... This is now or never for him, isn't he? He's not been called upon very often, but it would be a great time to happen now, wouldn't it? Here he is. Tricky Ricky. Proving to be tricky, but this is lofted up in the air, and it's going to be one bounce. Cuatro Carreras. Oh, outside edge, gone. Well, that is the worst result for the gladiators because now you're asking the, the the serious tail enders to come out and get some runs and it's going to be a tricky ask has that wicket just booked eagles place in the final oh what a what a comeback remember ricky gill the bowler who got taken apart in that qualifying number one by Cluj, he went for 21 and 23 of his two overs and just look what he's done here and those of you that were saying, Rico, you gave him a shout out in that match and thought he's one to watch. What were you thinking about? This is what he can do. Uh, Two for eight. Has he just won them the match? 97 for seven with an over to go. There we go. Needs to get something here. Steps across over the top. Bit of work to do for the fielder. It skips on, though, and it is going to go to the boundary. It didn't quite plug. In fact, it went all the way. Short thumped, gone. Oh, it's gone all the way. Six runs, Rana. The tail is wagging for the Gladiators. They're within touching distance now. 
Oh, that is superb. Six runs and out of the screws, by the way. How they needed that. Well, boom. Shaka Lagia. Eight needed off two. Rana, 10 off three, by the way. Goes across again. Does bowl it. Gets it. Hits it firmly. Bit of work to do. Oh, they'll just get one. And they think about turning and going. He won't get there. I don't mind that, to be honest. I don't mind it because it does mean that Rana will get back on strike. Petrik, yes, he can whack it. Did they cross? Oh, Charlie, is... did they, that's why I'm banging my head. Did they cross? If they didn't cross, that's not smart. If they didn't cross, he's not smart. Let's have a look. So he's been hit here. They run this one quickly. Now, Luka Petra is sort of ball watching a bit. They want to go. I don't know if they cross, you know. I don't. Oh, it's going to be so. If we go back here, do they cross? I don't think so, Charlie. I don't think they cross. Let's see. Well, great work here by Spring Media. We need all of this. But I don't think they cross. I think Luca Petro is going to have to stay on strike. Probably not a bad thing because it could have been worse if it's the, a new better wow. that's going in. But okay, then. Six. To for a golden ball. Oh dear, here we go then. No extras. Oh Six dear. takes us to a golden ball. Oh. Here we go then. Six for a golden ball. Full toss doesn't get there. And Isman Ali is off. He sets away. And the Eagles have put their place in the final of this European cricket series. Commiserations to the Gladiators. It just wasn't meant to be. But the Eagles, out of the depths of despair, have done it. And Usman Ali can finally breathe. Oh, what a match, everybody. What a match. There were twists. There were turns all over the place. But the Royal Eagles, after being... Absolutely annihilated by Kluge earlier on. Well, they got their second chance and they needed it. And they've got past the Gladiators. The Gladiators will feel the pain.